What's up, Culinary 2? Are y'all ready for a great day? It's going to be a great day. Why? Because I'm in the pink chef jacket. I'm in my black hat. It's going to be just, I even got a whiteboard behind me. It's going to be a great day, and we're going to get ready to party. Hey. All right, who am I kidding? It's just going to be a normal class, and we're just going to get this thing going. I'm just trying to make things a little, I mean, I have, yeah. I like my little microphone. Yeah, it's awesome. All right. But we're going to get the business today. We got a couple things that we got to go over. I know y'all are super excited to see me, and y'all probably already laughing and sitting there going, Chef Abbott has completely lost his mind. Well, the thing is, is I, I probably lost my mind before we ever went on this long break. So, you know what? All I got to say is, hey, you got to make the most of it, right? So, I'm going to have a few laughs here and there. Chances are, if you didn't laugh in class, it was probably because you were asleep. So, you know, you know we're going to have some laughs either way you like to cut it. But, hey, just want to go over a couple things as we get into our lesson. And, uh, you know, it's great to still be able to talk to you guys unfortunately it just stinks that i don't get to see y'all i mean can you imagine you're talking in front of a camera there's no student to get on to i'm, I'm not sitting there yelling at the usual suspects read the face y'all know what i'm talking about and you know who i'm talking to and if you're watching this video and you're one of them you understand what i'm talking about anyways but we got I'm going to crack myself up, ain't I? All right, but there's a couple things we want to talk about as we get into today. Number one, first off, I want to discuss attendance with you. Again, as I told y'all uh, last week, you have from 8 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Hey, what's up, chef? What up, chef? Could chef dizzle? Whatever the case may be. Hey, I'm alive. I barely made it. I just woke up and rolled out of bed. I don't care. I got a bed head. Whatever it is, check in something i prefer to see that so that way i can mark it on my attendance so that way i can know i'm trying to keep up with you guys to the best of my ability okay just like every other teacher is figuring out their way i'm doing i'm doing my best with my way okay so go ahead check in now if you just want to watch the video and do the work that will help okay because if you're doing the work i see that you're doing the work which let's face it the whole point of attendance is to do the assignments there you go. So that's checking in just as good for me. Now, class assignments. At this point, there's there's two summons. You should have already done them by now. By the time you're watching this video, you should have had them done. When I start making it rain zeros, remember, I don't make it rain A's. I'm going to start making it rain zeros if you don't start getting your work to me, okay? It's not super long, guys. Come on, really? I mean, KFC, Google, and there you go. You got it. Okay. It didn't take that long. And then your uh, test that I gave you to redo, as long as you found those two documents in Google and you just looked straight at it, it was like that. Okay. So you need to get on it, get on these assignments. Now I knew moving forward, you're going to, have to do a little more research and stuff like that, but you need to get on these assignments, get your attendance in, get on your assignments. Don't fall behind because this, there's a difference between being in the classroom and falling behind and being online and falling behind. Because once you fall behind online, eight classes worth, and you're not keeping up, that's a lot of work to make to make up. And teachers, some of them may not be as giving as others, okay? So you need to get on it. Now, moving into today's lesson, I want to go, I want to remind you of something. We talked about doing American Regional, and I said that I was going to break it up into six areas. Well, since we have this extended time, I've decided to make some judgment calls on some areas that I want to move around a little bit, okay? Like, for instance, today we're going to talk about the Pacific Northwest over on the West Coast, all right? Um, originally, California was jumbled into that grouping. Uh, since we do have the time, I've decided to pull California out and make it its own thing that we can discuss and to move forward on, okay? Um, as I shoot these videos, if you have questions or you read stuff that you have questions about as we do these different things, um, email me. Put it on the chat in our team. Whatever the case may be, reach out, interact with me. That is why I sit here at 8 o'clock in the morning and just sit on teams working on stuff. It's so I can interact with you as you get on. As many of y'all have seen, I stay on there pretty much till almost 3, 30, 4 o'clock every day. And even some of y'all probably seen me say, what's up late at, late at night when you're getting on. That's okay with me. I'll respond at some point when I'm available, okay? But 
stay connected. Don't don't lose don't lose getting out there. Okay. So with that said, today we're going to be talking about Oregon and Washington State. Okay. I'm going to just point out a couple of things. You will have an assignment to do. I have a list of questions. You do some research and uh, stuff like that. Okay. Much like how um, last year in our international class. <clears throat> We learned about how the rest of the world is just way different. You know, we have different cuisines, different things all over the world. In the United States, we have differences. All right. We have differences when it comes to all these cuisines and stuff like that because it's based on your area. Where are you at and what do you have readily available for you to eat? And those that's how we get a lot of these cuisines, all right? Um, as we go through this, uh, chances are I will have some videos like this one that will be a little bit shorter because I'll have you watch another YouTube video that I will tell you about. Um, so I'm going to be trying to mix it up so that way you're not just hearing it from me, okay? <clears throat> so today we're talking about Oregon and Washington. Some foods I'd like to point out. Number one. Uh, seafood. Obviously, with the fact that it's on the West Coast, you have a large array of seafood, much like us over here on the West, uh, East Coast. Seafood is king and stuff like that over on the West Coast. Very, very similar. As you work your way up the coast, you get into your salmon, so you get into your uh, shrimp, crabs, things like that, even lobster over there. Uh, good stuff. Now, when it gets a little different is some of your meats. Notice I have moose and I have elk, okay? Moose, moose and elk is actually a little more available over there. Now, I'm not saying you can walk into any place and get moose and elk. I'm not saying that. But some of your restaurants who are maybe on the higher end or stuff like that will sell moose steaks, elk steaks, whatever the case may be, things like that. They have that available to them. Why? Because over in that north West area where it's cold, it's rainy, very little sun most of the year and stuff like that, they attract a different level, different kinds of animals that they can hunt, produce, and, you know, farm the table. There you go, baby. All right. So just like in different parts of the country, as we talk about different things, like when I talk about Texas, a lot of beef. Why? Big beef ranches all over the place down in Texas, okay? So as I get to that, you're going to kind of see kind of how these things work. And then finally, berries. Many, many, many national parks are out in that area. So they have berries that grow wild. Pluck them, sell them, things like that. With berries, with that said, um, there is a lot of wine country. As we get into California, that'll be a little bit more. But um, there is uh, areas of, especially Washington, that produce wines that sell throughout the country and even throughout the world. Okay, so those are some different things that you can find as you look over on that side. And then finally, at the very bottom here, I threw in international cuisine. Remember, it's on the West Coast, so think about people coming from different areas of the world on the in the far on the far east. So such as Japan, China, Australia, things like that. Those people, Hawaii, coming over to the West Coast. Much like us being on the East Coast, we deal with a lot of Europeans who have come over um, from the Europe side. Over on the West Coast, they deal with a lot more of a, your Chinese, your people coming from that uh, West side of um, of uh Asia and stuff like that coming over to there. So you will find a lot of um, Hawaiian foods. You'll find Japanese. You'll find Chinese. You'll find India. You'll find curry, things like that, okay? Those kinds of things you'll also find on the coast because people have moved from those parts of the world into ours, okay? So these are just some ideas of the things that I would like to point out. Obviously, uh, if I had more time, I don't want to make these videos too long. I'm trying to keep them under about 10 minutes or so. Um, but I just want to point out certain foods that you may see as you study and as you research, okay? When you're answering these questions, don't just make up answers just because you think they sound good and they will be believable. Research, Google, it ain't that hard. Da, 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 da. Ask a question and see what pops out. Do a little bit of research and try to learn something, okay? Let's make the most of this time. Don't just sit there on your butt and just start making up stuff just because you ain't got time to deal with it. I'm sorry. You're doing 30-minute classes, so that's four hours a day when you're so used to going for almost eight hours. Come on, guys, really? Get on it. Work on it. Learn something. And until next time on Wednesday... Y'all have a good week. We'll see you on Wednesday with our next area we're going to learn in.